What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video. In this video I will be reacting on the performance in Amsterdam Eurovision in concert 2024 performances of four artists from Albania, Georgia, Ukraine and Moldova in probably different order but doesn't matter. And why I chose those? Because all of those four they have some folkish melodies in their music and also they are all kind of amazing performers performers kind of they are amazing performers they already proved it and i'm curious how it will be if i compare them in one video together let's talk all right guys welcome back to my channel i'm glad you're here subscribe share like become a member to have exclusive content and also all of this what i'm doing in much advance actually in the moment when I'm going to upload it, not when I'm going to upload it, probably that's impossible, but when I upload it on YouTube, you will be available to for sure watch it. I will make sure of it, so it really worth it to support this channel this way, but also you can do it by buying me a coffee or giving me a super like. All of those will help me to improve, to focus more on YouTube and also bring you topics which are different. Also my reactions are different than the rest. I'm not like, <laughs> everywhere on the place I'm more trying to giving you professional points of view with my personal touch and to prove this to you I really would like to start with Bessa and her song Titan which was presented at Eurovision in concert in Amsterdam so let's do this she has a very strong voice even though like this song, you cannot do a mistake, it won't really let you do it. You cannot afford, she cannot afford it. But this is a vocalist. Na, 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 na. The melody is really good, I like it. I like how she's playing with the vocals, with her voice. Better, this is nice, she made it. The rip part, <laughs> she's not able to get her jacket off. I kind of think that for the rip part, she must be more action, not just walking like really live it. Live it. Of course, she's more vocalist, but let's when you have this part, like go all in, even on concert show. Why not? It's an energical thing. Oh my god, but her vocals are brilliant. I still would like more, more stage, you know, craziness. Now she gets the jacket off. It's an earworm. This immediately you can repeat the melody. Actually works amazing on a concert with all the clapping. I'm not sure this disco part really fits the song. If it fits her. Like if she really goes crazy, you know. I'm not sure that she's this person. But uh, but I must say that as a performer, she's brilliant. Like in the way how she performs the song vocally. Strength in her vocals. I can feel the, the body language. It's very serious, but also very confident, which fits the song. In my opinion, at least at such concerts, of course, this is not that huge relevant. I don't know how the staging will look. Let's see. I don't want to judge this, but I believe that for such a song with such evolution or such progression in the song, especially to this disco, powerful, fast, up-tempo beat, she should, went she should go crazy. She must go crazy. I must feel her dancing, camera dancing, her dancing, not to be this diva who can sing. Okay, I saw it a million times, she has a capability to do it and I think if the song should fit her and she want to increase her chances to qualifying, because I think why not? Like, come on, this is this is definitely not bad, the performance was alright, but to improve that you say like, yes, she deserves it, like, I lift the song with her. I want to have a feeling that I'm living the song with her that she's not just going to perform at Eurovision, that she's going to enjoy at Eurovision, that the song 
is inherited in her. That's what I was missing in here. But maybe this is just my thing, you know? So write me in the comments below what do you think about it. And let's move on to the next artist, which is Nutsa from Georgia, who surprised me super much in London pre-party. How complex performer she is. Like really, so I'm very curious in here. You can see immediately the body language is enjoying, entertainer, entertainer, you know, she... I cannot see her eyes directly, but I can feel them. This is a thing. Out of this world vocals. But it's not everything. The firefighter! And from hay she exploding. In the, I think she's more more static than she might be in here. I don't feel this energy like I felt in London. Even her body language still speaks. I think she needs to dance. This, when she can show her entertaining part. Okay, but. Such things doesn't really work from one camera angle, right? But when she starts to walk, finally she do something there, you know, it's a concert. Vocals, brilliant. It's interesting. It has like three peaks, this song, whenever she goes high tone, basically. But this, when she jumps, this is what I want from Bessa also, you know, to get crazy because it's it pumps you up this pumps you up but it feels infinite a little bit now but her vocals good she knows the song she knows how to perform it the performance in here was more static than i would like to from performer like her i would expect that she will become she would get completely crazy on stage actually and because I know she has such energy in herself I think she just chosen to be more television static but it would be great for the concert to really pump up the stage more more in my opinion she can do it also with her vocals and also with her promising start I'm not sad about the performance or underwhelmed or something but I just like if you can do this do more do more do more let's move on let's move on to natalia barbu from moldova this will be for sure a static performance oh my god but her vocals this is very charismatic Like this is vocally absolutely brilliant performance and her posture you, even in this like three like this absolutely crazy bad resolution she gives i'm very curious if this song is enough for go for public qualification from my data models it is the reality will show us maybe something different she's not a favorite to qualify Actually, vice versa, but let's see. Like, it's not a party song. There's nothing what will make the other people dance, you know. But she's a professional. You can tell that she's do what she should do. And vocals. This is such a powerful voice. But everybody now, good. But this is a little bit addictive, it's also earworm. Also violin solo. Fake violin solo. Real violin, fake solo. Um, but this melody is really good.
and then this. This is somehow from completely different century song music at some point. It really stayed there. It's a good reminiscence, but she's an amazing performer, I must say. Like the song doesn't really no, not listening together. The song uh, it does it do, it don't it doesn't work on me. After all, I think I was surprised. I'm always surprised when I can see her performing because I'm enjoying such a professional performer. Like this is a high college of how you should present yourself in front of people, how your body language must be, your eyes, everything. It so sh this sureness, this sparks. You can feel it. You can feel it even you cannot really see it. This charisma. The song itself, I think this is another story, if it's enough or not. For me, not that much, even I'm I'm enjoying it somehow when I have better view on the artist. Probably wouldn't really work at me on a concert like this, like really. But let's see how they will manage at Eurovision and how neighbor voting and diaspora voting and also the fact that I think this will attack on the senses of the older audience, which can really push it through. I'm very curious how it will work. This performance in here didn't uplift me really that much as but I expected it. Of course, in comparison to Bessa and Nutsa, this song is less dynamic, it's more static, it doesn't give you this kind of options. Even though maybe she didn't need to do this classical stand-up and she could do more concert-wise, Natalia Barbu chosen this, has chosen this, why not? Next and last, Alonia Alonia and Jerry Hale from Ukraine. I'm very curious, especially in here, because the song is brilliant, they are both amazing artists, they already proven it a million times and they didn't need to prove me anything, basically none of them, but uh, I'm very curious if from this performance I would have the feeling that they finally belong together, because this is, in my opinion, the only downside of this song for me, visually, then it, it really don't have a weak spot, but the thing, if you like it or not, this is the only thing, so let's do this. Like you cannot say anything about the vocals in here. It has such a charisma and such a power. This, this is like I'm telling you, they are huge contenders for winning Eurovision. Even now, it's uh, Croatia, Switzerland. This is overall strong. It's the most universal song of high quality of high quality at at the contest, in my opinion. Even though it's this. Let's say Ukrainian cliche, but works. It works, and I like the prep part in it. Let's wait for it. It's the un it's anthemic song. This is such a good thing. I love the rap part. Really, it calls me goosebumps completely. It's like the hit. I still have kind of a problem of their, of this duo somehow visually. I don't know. The only, only weakness of this song, in my opinion, especially, but there is their rap part. But if there is not, it would be very repetitive. But it works. It doesn't feel three minutes. Oh my god, but the vocals, this is clean, this is clean and strong. Wow, it's not bad, it's not easy at all to sing like this. It's hard as hell. No, I'm not another singing. So, yes, I still, I still have some problem. I don't feel the energy between those two for some reason, I don't know. I think cameras, editing, graphic and whatsoever will find me help it. It's not easy to do a duet. It's not easy like this because they are kind of concert duo. I'm not sure if this is a tele... How to tell... Like I know how would I televise it, but it's definitely a hard task to do it the way that you will create a connection. Because this, this is the only discipline I think they should really manage. But if I just take all those four performances 
I must say sorry to Albania because in my opinion that was maybe the best one of them. I really probably enjoyed it most. The only thing that I think she can pump up even more energy but I somehow felt it from this static camera the most because she was more likely walking around everywhere. She could do more, she could do more. But she did enough and actually surprised me. Like I think we are sleeping a lot on this song at some point, maybe for a good reasons, but in my opinion, all those four women, they are first of all brilliant vocalists, brilliant vocalists, like so many other artists are not matching them at all. Maybe some of them, they don't have such strong songs, but in compared to the general quality, general quality, and now I will take off that something is more cliche, something is more original, but the quality matters. In my opinion, all those four should qualify. All those four, in my opinion, and I think that all those four will qualify. And now you can call me crazy, but I'm telling you that maybe Moldova won't qualify. Maybe Moldova, but the rest of Ukraine, this is for sure Georgia. I think it's a cliche, but people love cliches and she will fight for those maybe last positions because there are no juries to save her, this artistry in her. But on the other hand, she brings up another vibes, dance, fire. It, this will work and Bessa just needs to add more energy and also the support of Albanians around the world, around Europe, that would for sure help her. But if she will add even a little bit more, I would say deserved. I would say deserved, like this is important to, if such voting is happening to say, okay, but either way it would qualify, right? So I think this is a conclusion for me from this video and I'm very curious about your comments. So in the comments below, write me. Of course, you must, you might, you must, you might, you must, you should, you should give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want those videos in advance or give or being given some exclusive content, become a member and support this channel. You can also support it by uh, buying me a coffee or giving me a super like and let this channel to grow and also help me to focus on YouTube much, much more and giving you all my opinions and so on and so on and so on. I'm doing so much videos, podcasts, blah, 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 in very different way than the rest. And I hope you like it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.